Okay, I just had to do this. These guys are such great pals. Look, oh, fuck. Oh, well, whatever. I'm in creative mode, doesn't matter. Um, look, the pals. They're going to go to bedrock together. Look at that. Cow and chicken. Chicken and cow. Fascinating. Why? They, they always hang around this area. They're, they're just completely disinterested with that end of the quarry. They're just completely interested in this end. I don't know why. And, you know, the whole world is being dug up underneath their feet. Oh, by the way, um, I'm still having problems with my sound. I have no idea why. I'm just going to end up rebooting. But I'm not going to do that until I've finished doing all this and getting some of the Buildcraft stuff working. Because I'm pissed off. And I sat down and read the entire wiki. Um... So I understand what I was doing wrong, but yeah. Um, by the way, the reason that I had a bucket in my hand, um, I just thought it'd be interesting to see what would happen over here. And it was just interest. I only used it in this, well, I'd already done this all in creative. Yeah, all in creative, as you can see. But I thought, okay, what happens if I put a, um, <coughs> a bucket of water here and a bucket of water here? And this is the result, and it's actually quite fascinating, um, because it seems that the my the laser drill quarry miner thing, whatever it is, the Q, um, doesn't. It seems to disrupt water, but only when there's a sponge somewhere around. So, see, all that water would have gone down here, and the curious thing is, that even if you destroy it. It still doesn't do it. It doesn't flow. So that's why I was, had a bucket in my hand, because I was just trying it out to see what happens. And it was just an experiment. Failed, obviously, as you can see. So, yeah, just some interesting notes. So what are cow and chicken doing? Sort of mm -hmm. like Luxor, doesn't it? Luxor for fish. Fuxor. Probably shouldn't say that, but anyway. So, how you doing, guys? That's a hell of a drop. Huddle together for warmth. Yeah. Anyway, we'll see how it goes. I'm trying... See, I put this water up here in in survival mode. Didn't do it over there. And I dug some holes along there because I'm building a path. And, um, like this one, which, as I said, all in survival mode all the way around so I can watch it and see how it's going and um, so yeah I leaned precariously over here and dumped two buckets of water there and then I ran out of water so then I just dug holes here and used the bucket to pick up some water and dump two bits there then over here as you can see I dug I used the bad boy to um, dig this little area and dig two down there and two down there and put two, a couple of buckets of water in there and then I went along here and as I said precariously yeah I nearly ended up at the bottom and that would have been a problem because I would have dig my way out um, I mean I do have my stairs there so I could have dug through the sand there and walked across and walked up but that's not the point so yeah I nearly killed myself doing that and um, it was just to see what happened just to see what happened and the same with using two buckets in creative mode there just to see what happens just just for interest sake and you'll notice that um, the um, sponges distance have quite a lot to do I mean what's going on here and people see this game uh, say oh uh, you know it's not realistic well of course it isn't bloody realistic look at that there's, there's about 60 metric tons of water hanging in space i mean i know we live in the 21st century but even so all right i'm just gonna sit and watch this for a while because i just think it's it's just awesome and when i get into railcraft and all the others um i'm going to try and build a ride it goes all the way around mm, we'll see we'll see how it goes anyway that's it Bye. Enjoy. Bye, bye, bye.